I'm Jeffrey, and I am a junior. How long have you been taking lessons at Hopewell? Pretty much ever since Hopewell started. Yeah. What instruments do you play? Um, for less lesson wise, I take piano as of just right now. I have taken I have taken drums and um, saxophone before, uh, and then itty bitty of like singing lessons, and then uh, and then guitar just guitar uh, on my own time. Awesome, multi instrumentalist. I love it. So, yeah. oh, when <clears throat> you first started, was there something in particular that made you want to start learning music? Was it something that you were excited to do at first, or was it something that you kind of came to love as you started to grow your skills as a musician? I think um, just being a musician didn't really kick in until I was in fifth grade. I started taking lessons when I was in first grade um, and they didn't really like the passion for music didn't really spark up until I'd say about fifth grade. Um, was there like something in particular when you hit the fifth grade that made you have an aha moment? Like a, a particular event maybe or like seeing a particular musician? I go to Scouts. Uh, at the time it was called Boy Scouts. Um, so there was a, a new kid that came in at the place where we do scout meetings. Um, there's a piano that sits in the same room. I only knew the basics. So I was only able to play like where I had a little lamb and I probably was just able to play simple chords. Um, there is a kid in particular who was new to scouts and he showed up and then he was just playing really fast on the piano. He was like showing a lot of skills. And I asked him, I was like, how many years have you been playing? He's like, I've only been playing for a year. And I'm like, well, okay, I've been playing way longer than him, but my skills are nowhere near his. That's where like my motivation kind of started kicking in. Um, we both started, I wouldn't say stepping on each other's foot, but we were having like a friendly rivalry between like playing piano that's kind of where the music sparked up and all that in, in in me. Okay, so you found a friend who like motivated you to like push yourself further as a musician. That's really cool. Um, so you, like you mentioned, been with Hopewell pretty much since the beginning, um, and you're you know one of the uh, like initial group of students. What can you tell me about what? that experience has been like over the years? I think it's interesting to see how Hopewell grows. And me, myself, at that time, I was probably about six, maybe seven. No, I was about six. Being a teenager now and seeing a lot of the younger students, new students coming in to take lessons and um, whether if it's their passion or if their parents is forcing them to like try to find a new hobby, um, it's interesting to see how far Hopo has become, especially with the teachers, the new teachers. It's really interesting to see that that growth within Hopo. Um, and it's a really strong sense of community if you really think back to it. Has there been like something along the way that has stuck out to you about the uh, community around the music school that you maybe don't find in other um, like music oriented communities that you're involved in? You know, for me personally it's it's a non-profit school so it's like um you pretty much get everything provided for you uh it's not really you have to go out and buy stuff on your own and use and come back or you have to pay a fee to the school in order to either take lessons or to get a specific book or specific instrument from the teacher or specific type of clothing um i'm also in a pet band at school uh i mean there's nothing wrong with the band but there's the fee that comes in and it's just like you kind of just want to be there for the enjoyment and you don't really want to be there to like pay the money but then you kind of have to due to um you know just being involved in it comparing it to a lot of other things there's always a strong sense of community within music in general that's very true so if i'm understanding you correctly what you like about hope well is that there's not that 
barrier to accessing the community like you sometimes find in other musical spaces. Right. You've been, you know, taking lessons pretty much since Hopewell has started. Um, and you've been involved in quite a few ensembles. Has there been a particular memory from your experiences as a student at Hopewell that sticks out to you? I think it was the day that I saw potential in drumming. I remember one of the teachers, Tamir, I remember walking from a orchestra rehearsal that was a, that I was with um, Ellie. Um, my brothers were a part of the jazz ensemble and I was like, I had maybe f five years in experience of drumming, but then it wasn't like, it didn't really spark up. It wasn't really my main instrument uh, until I got to the jazz ensemble room. And I, I just sat in there. And I think at that time they were looking for a drummer and they didn't have a drummer uh, just because they had a lot of drummers who were going in and out. Some went to college. I think it was around that time. And Tamir kind of just told me to hop on the drum set. And I started playing that day. And that's kind of like where I learned three, four time signatures. I learned uh, a lot about swinging, jazz. But yeah, I think the day that Tamir just threw me on the drums in the jazz ensemble was the day that really, really sparked up for me. Um, within Hopewell. So, you know, now you're, you're a teenager, you're going to be you know, going off to college not too long from now, and you've started composing and writing music of your own. And from your teacher, I've even heard that you've expressed interest in a uh, career as a music teacher. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about um, what's been driving that and what your creative projects and musical projects have been like yeah so from the career side I think it was more it's a more of a thing that, that I realized that I wanted it as like a, a hobby and like a, I think growing up I had that fantasy of like oh you know as an adult I'm gonna have so much time like just throwing myself into music but then I realized that you know you can't force yourself to be creative you know um but uh you know in general um kind of one thing that was uh driving it was seeing a lot of um musicians who are minorities in the US or even my musicians from across the country or overseas that were you know winning all these awards for you know maybe having the best song of the year or um being at the top of the billboard charts i think that was something that was like for me, looking at it, um, especially if you saw an Asian person on there, it was like something that you looked at it and it was just like, that's really cool. Uh, but right now, you know, thinking back of like writing music and composing my own stuff, it's more of a hobby for me where I don't want to force myself to think creatively. I want to just be creative on my own. And on top of that, um, writing songs, composing things to help people relieve stress and, and uh, allow them to relate to the music that I write. That's kind of what I am aiming towards, you know, through music to help motivate those people. Awesome. And like, you're absolutely right about how, you know, minorities, folks like you and me, you know, like when I was a kid, like it was all white folks that you saw on television. And now we're seeing more folks like us who are um, you know, making waves and who are um, being trailblazers in the music industry. And I think you have a really great point about how seeing that can be a really good motivator and um, mm -hmm. really shows how important representation is. Just a couple more questions for you. Is there a particular song or composition, some, some sort of creative project that you're especially proud of? I would say something that I can definitely look back on and see growth is my very first Hmong song that I wrote, which is called Oisha, or it's a song where it's kind of just telling somebody like, oh yeah, you know, I'll just say goodbye. You know, just, mm -hmm. um, you're gone and that's, that's it. I guess the production quality of it and, and all of that is, um, I wouldn't say is the worst, it's also not the best. Uh, so when you look back at it, you see a lot of the growth. Um, I'm working on a bunch of projects right now that I haven't released yet. 
um, you know, maybe I showed it to a couple friends and you can definitely see uh, if I were to release it now, you could definitely see the, the production quality that I had at the very beginning from that song until now. It's not something that I would say like I'm very proud of, but it's something I show off and I tell people like, yeah, this is where I started. And this is like my very first time where I produced everything on my own. I didn't steal a track off of YouTube or anything. And the process was was fun. Yeah, so I mean, that in of itself is something to be proud of. Audio production is definitely a, a beast in of itself. And so that's really cool that you were able to just dive into it. So last mm -hmm. question for you, Jeffrey. Why is music important to you? Music. <laughs> it's important to me. Um, a lot of it comes with building a strong sense of community with other people. Um, I feel like music helps me express myself as well. Um, I've written a bunch of stuff on my phone that's like not close to being done. It's a bunch of songs where I'm able to like, I just expressed, you'd be like, oh, if I was in this scenario, I would feel this way. If I was in this scenario, I would definitely feel this way. Um, or even just a lot of it's kind of just taking things off my chest. I think music also helps bring people together. You know, again, it comes with community. Um, it brings a lot of people together to create friends, create family, uh, new family members. It's in very interesting to see this, the community and how, how much of a small world it is. It's kind of like, I, I guess for me, I take a look at it in a, a life, I, how would you say? I, I would take a look at it in like a life changing way where it kind of gives you small lectures as you slowly move on in the music journey.